It is the 11th of the 11th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to start off in Scott.net. Tehran's early warning snow surprises citizens. Uh, finally arrived. Tehran's winter snow started to fall in the capital, but much sooner than expected. After days of continuous raining, Tehran was suddenly clad in white, with temperatures falling to nearly zero degrees Celsius. Uh, life in Iran's most populous city suddenly changed, and these people aren't used to snow all the time, and they're saying it's like uh, two months early. U.S. government confirms link between earthquakes and hydraulic fracturing. On 5 November, an earthquake measuring 5.6 rattled Oklahoma and was felt as far away as Illinois. Until two years ago, Oklahoma typically had about 50 earthquakes a year. But in 2010, 1,047 quakes shook the state. Quote, the practice of injecting water into deep rock formations causes earthquakes. Both the U.S. Army and the U.S. Geological Survey, Survey have concluded. So there it is, your proof. Huge Alaskan storm passes, leaving wide, widespread damage, and of course it was a major, major storm. We had a 5.2 earthquake northwest of Athens, Greece. Uh, they're saying uh, there's no reports of dam, no initial reports of damage or injuries. Eruptions continued unabated at Chile's um, that big rift volcano. Despite being classifies, classified as a minor eruption, uh, Chile's volcano continues to pump out large amounts of ash. This natural color satellite image shows pale plume blooming in the northeast of active vent, right into Argentina. Uh, according to the national, the Chilean National Survey of Geological and Mining, ash rose to the height of five kilometers or three miles and blew as far as 300 kilometers, 190 miles from the volcano. Oh, wide area satellite images show full length of the plume covering the uh, Argentinian plains to the east. And again, that affects our winter crops. It's their growing season. Uh, Turkey earthquake kills at least seven dozens trapped in area hit by deadly tumbar last month. And uh, that's the story I covered yesterday. Over to the extinction protocol. Here we go with El Hero. Beaches closed on El Hero due to volcanic gas threat. Uh, Spain's civil protection for volcanic risk has closed two beaches on the island of El Hero in the Canary Islands because of potentially toxic gases emanating from an underwater volcano off the island shore. No kidding. Uh, the decision came after a technician from the country's National Geographic Institute had to seek medical treatment after he was taken ill while measuring carbon dioxide levels the previous day, uh, Spanish TV reported. And it's gearing up. we got more uh, reports. They just had another four points something. I'm not 100% sure, but Mary Greeley just put out a video. I will attach it below. Uh, I also have another video of uh, the water bubbling up really, really good, so I'll attach that below as well. We've got double CMEs from the sun to graze earth November 11th and 12th. Uh, yesterday, November 9th, around 1330 UT, a magnetic filament in the vicinity of Sunplex Sunspot Complex 1342 and 1342 erupted, producing an M1 solar class flare and hurling a CME into space. Uh, basically saying this thing might graze us on the uh, 11th or 12th. We'll definitely look for auroras. And that's about it for them. Over to the extinction, or uh, RSOE. Uh, basically, I just got a forest fires new Far East. And, um, yeah, that's about it new from them. So... Not a lot going on new climate change tonight. Uh, we're going to go over to the nuclear stuff. Uh, this is Energy News or ENE.com. ENENews.com. Japan journalist on rumors about Fukushima workers. Pretty credible reports coming out, probably from the hospital staff, that they are beyond capacity and don't know what to do. Uh, there's a video attached to that. Senator, we need aggressive plan to deal with the massive toxic debris heading to the United States from Japan. 
concern over hazards to people, fishing, and clogged waters. And uh, toxic debris is radioactive and toxic with all the chemicals and everything else that was washed out to sea uh, during that big tsunami. Uh, Arnie Gunderson's got a new video out. Um, Gunderson, U new U.S. plant designs very near being in licensed by the NRC without any Fukushima modifications. I watched the film. Apparently, they are um, they have nuclear reactors designed with like um, millions of pounds of like six million pounds of water above the reactor, so it's supposed to sprinkle down on it if something were to happen, kind of thing. Um, and Arnie goes through and points out major five or six major flaws uh, with these nuclear reactors. Now they're gonna they're building them in China already and uh, they're gearing up to build these reactors in the United States. Nuclear power is a crime against humanity. Uh, it should be stopped completely. So that's my opinion on that. Um, breaching cladding caused plutonium released in Idaho workers exposed to high levels allowed to go home and return for more tests. Now they got high levels of plutonium. Um, that is not good ever. There is no safe level for plutonium exposure. And uh, apparently uh, a top Indian nu nuclear official is saying Fukushima is not a nuclear accident. It's a natural disaster. And uh, Largest pieces of radioactive tsunami debris could arrive on the west coast of the United States and Canada within days. Simulation shows it's arriving now. So if you're on the west coast, be advised, you might be finding some strange things uh, washing up to the shore. And uh, as they were reporting right after the tsunami, uh, careful when you pick up the tennis shoes because there might be feet inside. Uh, that's just the sad fact and the reality of it. And it's not much fun being a part of a medical experiment, says Worker. Fukushima, a center for radiation safety research. So they're all guinea pigs now. The whole damn country. And they've got another story. Children's growth stunted around Fukushima meltdown. I reported on that earlier. And that's about all I have for you new tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, uh, please let me know in the comments below or attach your videos, of course. <sighs> Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.